Uh, Green Bay Packers Trials, Triumphs, and Tradition was a joint effort between myself and the Wisconsin Historical Society Press. Right away we were like, what are we going to do differently? Because everybody seems to have written a Packers book through the years, and there are some great ones out there. But most of them focus on the gridiron greatness, the Curly Lambeau stories, the Don Hudson's, the Tony Canadeos, the Lombardis, the Nitschkes, the Bart Stars, and now the a lot of the current Packer greats such as Brett Favre and Mike Holmgren and Reggie White and even Aaron Rodgers and Mike McCarthy. So we wanted, to, in addition to really giving a fresh perspective on the Packers story by telling the, the financial side and talking about the boosters and the stock drives and the creation of the nonprofit organization in detail, we also made a conscious effort to include over 300 photos that were either rare or had actually never been seen before. We had the privilege and the honor to access some uh, newspaper archives that had never been accessed before at this extent and include photos that may have run you know in a 1920s or a 1930s newspaper but then never had been seen again or almost you could almost say never touched by human hands since I had the opportunity to get into the archives you know we made a, also a very conscious effort to include a lot of photos with US presidents to exemplify the international flavor and fame that the Packers have as a American institution you know and one of our favorite photos is of Bill Clinton walking down the ramp uh, of Lambeau Field in 96 during a re-election campaign and he's got a Packers hat on and he's standing next to Favre and Reggie White and he's got just a big grin on his face like a 12 year old kid and he's literally saying gee willikers I cannot believe I'm standing on the 50 yard line at Lambeau Field which really shows you how big a deal the Packers are that the leaders of the free world seek out Lambeau Field to be a part of the experience. You know, what, what's great about the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh, it gives you a full education, a full experience. So when you get out into the professional world, you have the ability and the opportunity to adapt to the new technologies, to the new business techniques, to the new, I guess, cultural experiences that you'll be exposed to if you decide to stay in the Fox Valley, if you decide to move out to the West Coast, or I know people who have since moved you know, to other countries and other continents. And the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh has done a phenomenal job preparing all of us.